Greetings, Alamakani artists. I have something kind of fun planned for you today. We're gonna to learn about the Renaissance artist, Michelangelo. He was a famous painter, a sculptor, an architect, even a poet. So we're gonna learn about his art and then we are going to experience how he must have felt when he, uh, by himself, lying on his back, painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It took him four years. Pretty amazing. So what I'd like you to do is view the following video and then gather the supplies that you will need and follow the instructions at the end. Get started. Create like Michelangelo. Upside down drawing. Today we're going to learn about the famous Renaissance artist Michelangelo. He was born in Italy in 1475. He was famous for the Statue of David, the Pietà, the creation of Adam in St. Peter's Basilica. He's most famous and, and known for the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. This undertaking took four years for Michelangelo to complete all by himself. It started when the Pope said to Michelangelo, I would like you to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It's a very large building, as you can see. He replied, No, I'm not a painter. He pointed out his sculpture, the Statue of David, to prove that he was not a painter. But the Pope insisted. He replied, Yes, you can. And Michelangelo replied, Okay, I will do my best. Here is a view of the beautiful ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Please look at the many panels. Each one is a Bible story. In this story, it is the creation of Adam. You can see that there was a lot of planning going in to this big project. Each section is identified as a different Bible story. The ceilings were very tall. They were 70 feet tall, so Michelangelo built this scaffold so he could reach all the way up. Here are some details. Here he is painting, and here he is lying flat on his back. So he worked this way to complete the entire ceiling. Most amazing. Now it's your turn. You will need a few supplies, which are paper, tape, and crayons. The first step is to put tape on all four corners of the paper. Next, we take the paper and tape it to the bottom of the table. So here's my paper with tape on the corners. Now I'm going to position it right up here on the bottom of my table like so. Next, time to draw. Now it's your turn. Climb underneath the table, lie flat on your back, and start drawing on that piece of paper so you can have the same experience and see what it was like when Michelangelo painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. The end.